All right, back again here in the garage. I wanted to do a quick video on some fuel system components that I'll be running soon. So this is your stock fuel hanger. This is off a 1989 Mustang. And there's um, two huge issues with this style, which I ran into fuel starvation issues over at NJMP Lightning. So I wanted to talk about that. Uh, this setup, this hanger is probably fine with a stock fuel pump, but as we know, we ditched those 88 liter per hour fuel pumps up to a 190 or a 255 wall bro like this pretty quickly because we want to build more power. More power, more air, more fuel. We know that old story. So one of the biggest problems here, you can see the feed is much larger than the return. So what happens is since this is so tiny, it increases pressure of the return fuel going back to the tank. Another issue is you can see how short this return line is. And what happens is the problem that this creates with higher uh, fuel, fuel flow pumps is it creates an aeration problem. So your fuel pickup starts to pick up air bubbles and air pockets and you have fuel starvation. The <clears throat> other issue that I wanted to go into is since I'm going to an aftermarket fuel system setup, you can clearly see on the stock hanger different fittings. Over here we have AN fittings, which is what I want because I'm using different lines with AN fittings. The two big solutions with this Pro-M Racing fuel hanger, you can see both feed and return are not only the same size, they're 3 8 line, they're larger than your factory setup they're both the same size, and look how low the return is on this fuel hanger. So when you have that fuel system returning that fuel, it's pushing to the bottom of the tank. It's not gonna give you that aeration issue that a larger pump would with the stock return line. So the three big fixes or solutions with this performance hanger. One, feed and return are both the same size. Two, already got the A and fittings on for you. A great solution and three return goes all the way down to the bottom of the tank i will put links in the description on their website their product and they also have a really good video explaining this another thing i wanted to go into a good friend of mine dylan suggested to run a surge tank so how we're going to have our fuel system with this track fox body is your in-tank pump it's going to be in this fuel hanger the in-tank pump is going to feed the surge tank. This is a two liter surge tank, got it on eBay. I can also post the, the link in the description. In-tank pump feeds surge tank. Surge tank has a uh, different style pump. This is a 044 external pump. This is some no-name pump, I probably won't use it. I'm gonna go, to go with a, you know, a reputable name brand. This pump is gonna be feeding the rail feeding the, the Coyote motor up front. So the return style system is gonna be a little bit different than a factory Fox. Uh, as we know, Coyote motors are a return list system. So there are gonna be some changes coming down. I plan on using half inch uh, PTFE lines, um, you know, AN fittings, like I wanna do it proper. We know how critical fuel is, especially in a road racing time attack setting where you're going through a lot of lateral G-forces. I had a huge problem at NJMP Lightning around the bowl with fuel starvation issues. My wideband, my AFRs went through the roof in a lean condition, not healthy for the motor. Temperatures increase, you start to break things, which I found out pretty quickly. So one part of the solution is moving away from your stock hanger. Uh, I'm pretty sure with a new gas tank, and this performance hanger that would probably solve most of my fuel issues going another step for insurance we're moving up to a surge tank with a secondary pump so just wanted to bring out a quick video i know i've been mentioning it before about the kind of fuel system i want to run um, this is pretty much it in in a nutshell i did order a new stock gas tank because the baffles were broken in that which i just found out recently got a stock tank 125 bucks from late model resto that should be here shortly 
I know a lot of people are going to bring up how come you don't go racing fuel cell. Right off the bat, money. It's a lot of uh, fabrication work. Two, with racing fuel cells, you have to get them inspected every couple of years. So I didn't want to add another, you know, can of worms uh, with the race car stuff. You know, it's bad enough we have our harnesses inspection, we have the helmet inspection. If you run windows nets, you got to get those inspected. You know, these parts after every couple of years, you have to replace them. It gets expensive. I didn't want to add another thing I'm going to have to get inspected. I, I don't know if they inspect it in the car, if you have to drop it, they have to look at it out. I just, again, it's just like another thing I didn't want to deal with. So I believe between this performance hanger, surge tank, proper lines, I'm going to have zero fuel issues. So that's it for now. Stay tuned. Much more to come.